Hello and welcome to the Results with Ronnie podcast series. I am Ronnie Walker, Master Coach of Exceptional Relationships and Sex. And today we're going to ask a question and attempt to find the yet answers to a question that has been asked probably hundreds of millions of times throughout the humankind. But what's fascinating about this question is as many times as it's been answered and the various answers been given about it, there still some, seems to be some form of a disconnect. So hopefully what I'm going to attempt to do in this episode is maybe introduce a few things that may move the conversation forward, maybe provide some of you with answers, and hopefully we'll solve it enough so that you can have the relationship that you want, which I hope is nothing less than exceptional. Now, in this particular podcast, I really wanted to speak exclusively to the women because it is a question directly and directed at the women. Yet women still ask it, no matter how many times men answer the question. So what's happening? Why, although men are answering the question, women receive the answers, there still seems to be conflict. Well, before I get into this any further, I want to mention today's sponsor, which is the Balance with Diana J talk show on YouTube. Diana Joseph has an incredible talk show where she covers and everything about relationships and some of the taboo subjects that many people refuse to cover. She has great guests, and I suggest you go to Balance with Diana J on YouTube. Subscribe and listen in. It's great stuff. So what is this question that's been asked hundreds of days of time? I asked it on my Facebook page and oh boy, the responses that I got from women of all walks of life. My text, my phone has been blowing up from women all over the country and all over the world even with a few men chiming in on the sly. But the answers I'm going to present to you is really coming from a professional place, a personal place, and from the many men that I've reached out to ask this question. Now, what is a question? What do men want from women? what men want from women. Now, the way I asked the question, it was, do women really know what men want from women? And if so, what is it? Asked in a different way, but when it comes down to it, what do men want? Now, based on one's experience with a man, you may have gotten two to three things that men want because men are, quote-unquote, simple, as the saying goes. But I would argue it's not that it's just about simple than it is, is realizing that it's not easy sometimes. And truth be told, in a lot of cases, it's pretty deep. Because it's easy to add, tell you what it is that someone wants. But if you want to go deeper, you ask why. What does that mean to them? Now, you have some women who will say, Ronnie, I could care less what the men in general want. I'm only concerned about what my man wants. And that's fine. But I'm willing to bet that even your man can fit into the general consensus of what men want. And I don't care whether it's in New York, L.A., or Russia, Australia, 
Africa, you name it. Men fundamentally are pretty much all asking for the same things. And I'm willing to bet that if you dig just a little deeper, it'll be more than two, three, or four things. So when I reached out to the men and asked them, and again, I've reached out to well over 200 men. Now, although I reflect on all the years that I have spoke to men through consultations and coachings, I still took it upon myself to reach out to another 200 and just randomly ask this. Some, the list was short, some was extensive. So what I am going to answer here, I hope, ladies, you're taking notes. Because one of the challenges, if not the biggest challenges, is that usually women know what men are looking for. But, well... I'll tell you why there's a challenge in a minute. So fundamentally, what is it that men are looking for from a woman? Number one, cooperation. They're looking for cooperation. Some may use the word submission, submissive. But here's the thing. Based on how you perceive that word will tell you whether this is something that you're willing to provide for your man or not. And what I find is that women, when they don't want to do something, they'll take the simple of the words and define it as something horrific. Now, that is their right, but here's a challenge. If you are attracted to a certain type of man and the man wants or is asking for cooperation from the woman that he wants to spend the rest of his life with, well, then you have a choice. Whether you're going to be cooperative or look for another type of man to be attracted to. Men are looking for honesty. Men are looking for respect. Men are looking for trust. Men are looking for passion. Intimacy. Femininity. And this is very, very big. Men are looking for femininity. And although women no matter what women you ask, they will all tell you that they're feminine. But the challenge in the coachings and speaking to women is that usually when they interact with men, and especially high-performance men, if they are so attracted to such men, they don't show or share the feminine nature of them. They come across very masculine. as as if they have something to prove. And what a man won't do, who is sure on who he is, he doesn't want to debate a woman on every single point there is in a relationship. There is power in femininity. And somehow, throughout the years, femininity has been deemed as weak or something that you need to stay away from. It's too soft. And whoever told you that lied to you, plain and simple. Ladies, you need to embrace that. Because see, some of the other points that I covered, you would think that it would be a given. But we do know that there are women who are not trustworthy. They don't want to respect a man unless there are certain conditions. There are some women who are not passionate. And there are some women that are not honest. I'm sure some of you have had experiences with women in your life. 
that you've had to deal with like that. So although it should be a given, it should be obvious, it should be common sense. We all know that common sense really isn't common. It's so shared and believed. But this femininity piece is important. Men want a woman who is secure in her femininity. Men also want space. Many men don't require that they need to be under a woman all the time or a woman up under them. They love space. Why do you think sports bars are so big? Strip clubs. A man cave. That's where men have space. We're logical thinkers, and those are the spaces that we go to figure things out. Men also want a woman that knows how to cook. And somehow, like femininity, it's been demonized. Which, in my mind, is just asinine. I really have no idea. Now, does that mean now we're in a space where women are cooking six, seven days a week? No. Of course, we're, we're allowing for time to be taken out. And sometimes a man will cook. But to say a woman that does not cook? Okay. I'm not saying you can't find a man who is okay with that. But you'd be hard-pressed to find. And if you believe you don't want your time wasted, well then, I would take some cooking glasses. If cooking is not your strength. Men do love a home-cooked meal. Now, if it's a situation where he does the cooking because he cooks better than you, of course. Again, we're not talking some hard and fast rule. But if there's one thing I've asked these men overwhelmingly, a very high percentage, they would love a woman that knows how to cook. What's also important to a man? Looks. What looks good to him. Not what you think should look good to him. And when we're talking about looks, as a lot of women will tell you, and they know this, they'll share this with you. Ladies, you talk about how visual men are. We are. And there are things that certain men are looking for when it comes to that department. Men for the most of them, really not crazy about a lot of makeup. Yet, that is your right to wear a lot of makeup if that is your choice. So if this is what you want to do, and he, the man that you're attracted to, or is dating is not big on makeup, well then, again, you have a decision to make. Looks also, is about of course, Hygiene, taking care of yourself. Looks is also about weight. And that's important. So many men want a woman that's fit. Now again, and immediately the women say, what about the man? Is he fit? We're not talking about men right now in this episode. We're talking about women. Especially when you look at the obesity rate in America. And more specifically, the obesity rate in African American women. And I do know it's a very sensitive subject for women. However, what you will also find is that the higher the income of the man, the more he is very particular about the waist size of the woman he hopes to have in his life. Now, we can all go back and forth on European beauty standards and weights of things of this nature. And of course, as we get older, we all put on a few pounds. 
But a lot of you women know that you're in a space waist-wise, weight-wise, that you don't want to be there. And it really, truly diminishes your, you know, your chancing of attracting the type of man that you're looking for. Now, that doesn't mean you're not a wonderful person. doesn't mean you're smart. doesn't mean you know how to make money. You have a good job, a good career, a good business. But the one thing holding you back from certain men that you're looking to attract is the weight. Now, you, as a woman, have every right to do whatever you want with your body. Some of you, well, the gym just isn't something that you want to entertain being in. You are happy with whatever weight you are. But again, just like you all have conditions, standards, a list, or whatever it is that you use that you're looking for in a man, accept the fact that he has this as well. And funny enough, ladies, a lot of you have a standard of looking when you look at the men that you hope to attract. If I ask you for your ideal man, it's never an overweight man. It just isn't. That man usually has a six pack, muscles, with a few throwing in, say, I want a little bit of a dad bod, but, you know, again. And we can debate how big that is. But overwhelmingly, women, you know you want a fit man. Because of what it represents. And it's the same thing that men are saying it represents. That's discipline. Caring about yourself. Now, are there extenuating circumstances concerning this? Absolutely. But what I don't want to do is to make those extreme examples the norm. And in my consultations, I deal with this on an individual basis. But again, we can't argue the fact that there are a lot of women that are not at the weight they want to be at or need to be at, if just for their health. And as I talk to these men, again, talk to men from, whew, hell, anywhere in the world, they pretty much all say the same thing. And so what is the last thing that men are looking for? Sex. They want sex. Now, we're not going to get into the whole thing as to whether or not they're five-minute men, ten-minute men, two hours, whether they can get it up or keep it up or whatever. We're just talking about what they are looking for from their woman. Hell, some are just happy with a blowjob. As some men describe. Most men are out here looking for two, three hours of nonstop lovemaking after they get home from a 10, 12-hour day. And neither are most women. But women need to be able to be in a space where they're comfortable with their bodies because these men want to have sex with a woman that looks good and that they're physically attracted to. Now, is this the definitive list? No, I'm sure there are other things that many of you can come up with that you've been told men want from men, and that's fine. But pretty much what I've voiced here is something, it pretty much covers a good range, and you get the foundations, fundamentally, of what men are looking for. But let's go a little deeper here. And of course, this pertains to men, but like I said, we're talking about women. So what else is there that's going to help you as women know what men are looking for. There is something 
created by a gentleman by the name of Abraham Maslow, Maslow Law. And this is six human needs. Now, it's been used by other people. But there are six human needs to every human being. And this list is going to tie into what I shared to you just prior to a few minutes ago. And hopefully, you can do a little homework with the man that you're hoping to meet, the man that you're currently dating, or even the man that you're in a relationship now with. I think this is something, matter of fact, I'll go so far as that I know this is something that's really going to help you. So what is it? The first human need, or the needs of him, is certainty. A man wants certainty. A man also wants variety. He wants significance. He wants connection, growth, and contribution. So those six needs are certainty, variety, significance, connection, growth, and contribution. But here's the thing. Although we all have a need of all six, what drives us as men is the first two things that mean the most to us. So, although I listed, and I read this up to you in a particular order, it doesn't necessarily mean the man that you're with or dating has those needs in this order. So, some men, for the most important is variety. For some men, is significance. There's usually a top two. And it's the one that you focus on, the second you focus on. And for many, there's a third as well. But let's focus on the first two. So if we're talking about certainty, well, what does he need to be certain about? Well, we all want certainty. I'm sure you do. You want to be certain that when you call the man or text him, that he calls or texts you back. You want to be certain that the love you give, that you receive it back. A man wants variety. So, it could be the foods he eats. It could be the clothes he wears or the styling of clothing. It could be travel, going to different places. He likes variety. It could be the outfits that you wear for him in the bedroom or going out. The different looks that you women have. These are things that certain men will like. This is important because when I spoke of corporate, you know, cooperation, honesty, respect, trust, and all of that, what he's looking for, although he's looking for all of these things, it doesn't necessarily mean he values each and one of these, each of each of each of those. I'm sorry in the order in which I shared them. This is important. So whereas cooperation is the first thing I mentioned, maybe the first thing coming out of his mouth is trust or honesty. And when you ask why is that first, of course, He's going to come up with an experience that he had maybe in the last relationship or maybe the way he was brought up by his parents or a parent. But there's always a story behind the order in which a man has what he feels he needs from a woman. And it's the same with the six human needs. For certain men, 
what comes first is certainty to him. For others, again, connection. For others, contribution. And these are things that when we talk about communication, ladies, I get it. Some men are not as efficient as others in communicating their needs. But make no mistake about it. And ladies, listen to me and listen to me clearly. Men do know what they want. Now we can go back and forth as to how good he is in sharing that. And I get it. In some cases, a man says one thing and he does and his actions another. So then I ask you, what should you listen to? What he says, what he does. Now you would think that's a pretty simple question. But here's what I found a lot of times in my coaching. Women knows that what he does is opposite of what he says. And then women will still go by what he says. Because it says it so effectively, so sexy, or so direct. When the relationship ends, and then they kind of reflect on what happened, they realize, at least some women do, is that they totally ignored what he did and focused more on what he said. I can't tell you how many cases that I've spoken to and dealt with when it came to a woman totally disregarding what his actions were. So for those of you who don't want your time wasted, know who you are, know what you're looking for, know and be clear on what he's looking for from, a, from you, and then follow his actions, not his words, and making sure that what he says he wants, he really is acting that out. This is so important because again, it's usually the easy things that women tend to overlook. Although they say that it's easy to figure men out. And yet, this alone is something that women forget over and over and over again. There are still women out there who will tell you they know you, you can't change a man. And yet, women still try to change men. Never fails. And I don't care whether in the 20s, the 30s, 40s, and 50s. And what is the motivation? Well, one motivation is that they don't want to have to start over and go back out into that dating world. So they're going to try their best to make what they have here work. And it always implodes. Then you have love languages. Finding out what his love like. Now, this is a conversation that many men, heck, from the 200 that I spoke to, very few even spoke about the love languages, knowing what their love language are, or even to, trying to decide what their love language is. But they were very, very clear on that first list I've read off to you. But if love languages are important to you, then make sure you communicate that to him so he can communicate to you what he's looking for. And you'll find that pretty much it's covered in the first list that I read off to you and his human needs. Again, ladies, pay attention to what he does more than what he says. Men know what they want. Again, we can discuss whether or not they're effective. And some men are more, you know, they're more efficient in terms of letting you know what they want. But many women, as men have shared with me, consistently ask or request that men keep it real, keep it straight. 
let them know what they want up front. And then when he does so, she flips a gasket. And this happens so often that men just figured, you know what, it's just not worth it. It's better for me to just say something that's just going to get me to the next date or whatever he feels his motive is. So why am I going over this? Well, see, let me make this clear. Everything that I stand for is about relationships. It's about marriage. I truly believe with everything in me that we were built for relationships. And I'm willing to bet that the women listening to this show believe in relationships too. But not just any relationship, they believe in exceptional relationships. Now, I could stretch this episode out for hours on end. But I really don't want to overwhelm you. And I hope you took it upon yourself to take some notes on what I've shared. And apply it as you move forward in dating, as you move forward in your relationship if you're so in one, and marriage. If you're about growth, it's also about knowing new things. And sharing that new thing with the one that you care for. Ladies, I want you to have the success that you are seeking. I want you to have the healthy relationship. I want you to have the exceptional relationship. I want you to have exceptional sex. I want you to have the man that you know and believe with everything in you that you're worthy of. I don't want you to waste your time. I don't want you to have to wait six, seven years for a marriage. But a lot of this work has to be on your part. And some of that work means that a lot of you have entertained men that you know deep down you shouldn't have entertained. A lot of you have listened to words more than you've listened to actions. A lot of you have to come to the term or the realization that it's not always the man. Sometimes it's you. Not that he's completely innocent. I'm not going to so, go so far as to say that. But many of you need to accept that there's a part of this that you play that keeps you in the same pattern of men that you're choosing. A lot of you know what it is that the man that you're with needs and is looking for from you. And a lot of you don't want to be that woman. And if that's the case, then walk away and allow him to find someone else that's going to meet his needs. And this way, you can walk away and find the man that meets your needs. Or, with what, um, not all, and as well, meeting his needs. You see, this is why dating and relationship coaches exist. We see things in spaces that you sometimes overlook. I mean, hell, we all are human. And in a perfect world, the next man that you meet may be the one. And you don't have to go on five, six, seven, twenty, five hundred different dates. There would be no need for dating apps. You can walk into your favorite coffee shop or bar or museum and there he stands. Good looking, intelligent, makes goo gobs of money and his needs for a woman and what he's looking for is very simple and it is exactly the woman you want to be. 
Strange enough, that does happen. But in most cases, it doesn't. So I hope you receive this with the appreciation for women that I always have and always will have. And know that I do this because as a man, I have a fairly good idea of what men are looking for, even without having to ask them. I speak to them enough. And even if you were to ask me, you wouldn't get me to say anything different than what I've read. And the only thing that may differ is an order in which I'm looking for it. But this is not about Ronnie. This is about you. And giving you an edge so that you don't waste your time and you don't waste his time and moving forward and finding the person that you want in your life. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to reach out at resultswithronnie.com. That's resultswithronnie.com. You can also um, reach me on Instagram, official Ronnie Walker, and the podcast, mrrelationshipman.com. And there are other episodes and more episodes coming that I feel will empower you for the relationship or the exceptional relationship that you should be aiming for. My name is Ronnie Walker, Master Coach of Exceptional Relationships and Sex. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Until again.